And here we are at Lincoln Heights Missionary Baptist Church, 20 years since we did that first concert together. Have we ever imagined that this thing would still be going strong and that we'd be back here talking about it? I mean... I know, amen. Yeah. <laughs> amen, that's right. Uh, we started off at, with having the youth from this incredible church uh, to perform on a lollipop concert in 2001. And the church, oh my gosh, they embraced us. They were so excited to come to Music Hall. After that successful program, coming here to begin the conversation to talk about bringing the orchestra here. In 1999, we launched mm -hmm. Sound Discoveries, which became the overarching CSO um, education program. The basis of our programs for classical roots would sometimes be an educational youth concert or a lollipop concert. And then we would have our nouveau chamber players or mm -hmm. young people, I know, um, that we would send youth orchestra students to play at Martin Luther King Vespers services. Mm -hmm. right. um, so it was all intertwined, and I think that was the beauty of the Sound Discoveries model, was that it was it was two way. People came mm -hmm. to Music Hall, and we took it to the community as well. So the teachers we worked with in Sound Discoveries, who served on our education committees also were people who were working in the churches and really helped mm -hmm. inform us how to use an educational program to reach out into our communities and really engage um, people in their own churches. And so we yeah. wanted to take that next step and say, okay, how can we listen to uh, our, our black community in Cincinnati mm -hmm. yeah. collaborate and, and, and collaborate yes. to create something mm -hmm. It, uh, uh, th that is really meaningful and, and, and yes. relevant. Yeah. I, I, I think about the very first program, the, the Dvorak New World Symphony. I mean, this is a symphony that I've always adored and yes. loved. And, you know, and I think this great classical piece of music that brings together European mm -hmm. traditions uh, and American traditions and, and black musical traditions. And, you know, 20 years later, I, I look back and I say, it's a fantastic piece. Yes. But it's just dipping your toe in the it's, water. Oh my gosh. Just, yeah. uh, now, now yeah. here's my memory of the <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, you know, so the, you look around the church, yeah. me and Dr. Charles Fuller, we were back there on the back wall, and you're getting ready to conduct the Dvorak. The first movement, I mean, standing room only, packed in here, <laughs> people fanning, you know, enjoying, <laughs> and the first movement is over, and everybody jumps up, <laughs> standing ovation. And you, you, Don, you turn around, but wait, there's more. <laughs> so the moment after that first movement, <laughs> after a standing ovation, the look on our musicians' faces were like, <gasps> oh, I know. Oh. I was yeah. so energized. Because the musicians were approachable, and I mean, they came up to me and they said, Kathy, this, everyone's so nice, and the church is so beautiful. And I wanted that positive experience for them, not only for, you know, the black community, but it had to be we both coming together. Yeah. And it was, it, it was just. A memorable night. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, you did so much work like behind the scenes. In creating these relationships, you were interfacing with, with all the members of the MAC committee. And did, did they introduce members of our church community to you? Or, or, or how, how, how did that get set up? They set forth and said, you got to get into the churches. So some mm -hmm. of them gave me uh, some of the contacts or introduced me or invited me to come to Sunday service. Right. We were working on ways to diversify the audience and how we could get our friends and neighbors to come with us and enjoy the symphony like we do. We'll meet them, we'll meet them where they are. So we'll go out to them, they'll come to us, we'll work through this. She had already started establishing the relationships. Right, and, and this is all about relationships. Exactly. I mean, everything that we right. did involved people. Sometimes so many cooks in the kitchen you weren't sure you were going to have an actual program, but it always came together. It was, it was, it was very yeah. important. Yeah. 
But it, but it always came together. It, everyone talked about it so much, they wanted to know, okay, when's the next one? When do we get to do this again? When is it again? That kicked it off and it started growing and it grew and it grew and it got to be a point when we said, okay, now we've gone to you, we've gone over your house, now it's time for you to come to our house. We were doing so many concerts and they were just always selling out. Summer but I summer. think also the people in the community wanted to see it. You were yes. hearing that, 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 I was that hearing the church that. folks and wanted the opportunity to get to have their members sing on stage at mm -hmm. Music Hall. And I would have some of the church choirs come to Music Hall and they were performed prior to a yes. CSO right. concert, yes. yes. pre-concert yes. entertainment. And they would say, well, Kathy, when, when are we going when, to be up mm -hmm. on that stage? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ann and I started working with those choral yes. music workshops because yes. we had the dynamic music leaders from the churches. All of those folks would always be asking me for, for our church concerts, you know, oh, can we get the chorus involved? And we'd be like, oh, geez, we just got the, yeah, we yeah. got the orchestra squeezed in here. And I think, I think we had some small ensembles. We did. Some solo did. voices. But we didn't have that great vocal tradition. The uh, Clergy uh, Community Advisory Committee began as an effort to try to uh, boost interest uh, and attendance in classical roots. So uh, we called together churches from uh, across the uh, community, uh, community organizations, probably, I don't know, uh, 100 plus uh, strong to uh, begin meeting together and working together to uh, get some excitement and some involvement in classical roots. It really started after that first concert. Some of us got together, talked to other musicians from other churches and community choirs to see how we could build the choir. I think initially the goal was to get 150 singers. And I recall the first year that we had the concert here at Music Hall, we probably had 200, maybe even more than 200 people, and we had to find ways to um, reduce the choir down to 150. It's been a joy to work with each and every one of them. And it's a family. I can say that it's a family because we do communicate, we do, we do get along, we do uh, work hard to, to make sure we're giving Classical Roots our uh, best. I really enjoy looking at our culture and bringing that culture to everyone in that artistic way to see that, hey, I do this in my culture, you also do that in yours. Hey, I think I'll borrow something. Music is one of the most powerful vehicles to bring people together. And when you find a way to bring people together from different vicinities, communities, with different tastes in terms of music, um, and having an international you know, orchestra accompany a choir, uh, that is as diverse as classical roots. I mean, that makes a statement. Looking at all the programs, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, it's it, we, we were very like orchestral and classically oriented for yeah. for many years. We were at Zion Baptist. Uh, Reverend Cantrell yes. was, was was part of yes. our uh, uh, part of our group as we were talking through the concert. And I, and I was kind of thinking, well, you know, what happens if we branch out and you know start talking about you know. Uh, uh, black music in 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 contemporary music mm -hmm. and in yeah. jazz and, mm -hmm. and in all sorts of other ways. I, wh wh why do we have to be constrained by the orchestra, mm -hmm. you know, as as an yeah. ensemble? But you know, we're still doing these concerts in churches, so you know, I just wanted to be really <laughs> careful. So Reverend Cantrell is there, and 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 I'm pitching this idea that that I'd like to do a piece, a selection saluting. Ray Charles, oh, yeah. and I remember, oh, and I remember, right. and Reverend, Reverend Cantrell, Cantrell. And, and he, he, he's yeah. looking at me and he says, what, Brother Ray? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and, exactly. And that oh, really changed yeah. the yeah. tenor of our concerts, that we don't have to silo music into, oh, this is classical right. music, or exactly. this is black music, or mm -hmm. this is... Just and, good, and it's, good it's, it's great music <laughs> that, that is, that is uh, uh, so yeah. interconnected mm -hmm. on a yeah. deep and fundamental basis. Uh, we did that spectacular uh, arrangement of If My Jesus Wills, yeah. married with um, uh, We Shall, we shall Overcome, overcome. Uh, for, for our full chorus. Yeah. And, At Music Hall, the classical oh. roots. And to, yeah. to make orchestral works 
that were uh -huh. taking those church traditional tunes and it, really right. building them out into things that the orchestra could play with, with the choir. And have the choir sing. And, mm -hmm. and be respectful of mm -hmm. the tradition right. of the church. And then it started growing to a point that we start having the uh, national artists. Well, you know, then it's a matter, did you get your ticket yet? Did you get your ticket yet, you know? Uh, but I think what, what sticks out in my mind would probably be the performance with uh, Marvin Winans and uh, also Common. They, those were really great, and they're all great performances, but they were really great performances. Marvin Winans joined us. Mm -hmm. He, he jumped in and, mm -hmm. you know, worked with the chorus as well. Marvin Winans was shocked oh. at how prepared <laughs> that choir was. He really was. Oh, yeah. He went, oh, my gosh, you all are awesome. You know, when the orchestra comes to the churches, there's such, such a joy and spiritual lifting that is so needed, right? Oh, spiritual yeah. heights, yeah. spiritual yeah. heights for real. And, I mean, I could never do this alone. The pastors, the music ministers, we all each had yep. a role in this. And it, it's, it's an amazing experience that will live with us yeah. forever. All of us. Yeah, all of us. Yeah.